Ayuno. My face. This is not an app doing this. This is my y'all. Uh, was that in the front? Was that the front of the freaking house? The bloop. The bloop is a strange ultra low frequency sound that came from the Pacific Ocean and was caught by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in 1997. It's thought to be louder than any known animal on Earth, and the sound has a unique frequency profile that changes slowly over time. Many ideas were put forward about where the bloop might have come from, such as the call of a new huge sea creature or an unknown or extinct marine animal. But so far, there is no solid evidence to back up these claims. After more study by NOAA and other groups, it was found that the sound was probably made by a big iceberg breaking apart. The bloop's unique frequency features were thought to come from the size and movement of the iceberg as well as the sound properties of the water around it. Even though the iceberg theory makes sense as an explanation for the bloop, there are still some questions that need to be answered, like how loud the sound was and why it was so loud at this specific event. The bloop is proof of the puzzles that lie below the ocean surface and encourages scientists to explore and find the secrets that are there. Hotel Room The video was taken by Hotel Security on September 14, 2003. A woman called the hotel to ask staff about hearing screams coming from room 209. At that time, no one was in the room. A man from the hotel called John goes to the room to look into it. The screams stop him in his tracks as he walks towards the room. He walks around outside nervously and looks like he's scared to open the door. John's caller tells him, we're going to call the police. John replies, I would wait for the police. But John chooses to open the door and look inside and that's when the camera records something really scary. It looks like a ghostly person walks out the door. John tells his co-worker that no one is in there and that all the furniture is on its back. What's going on, John? Uh, he says no one's in there, uh, but that all of the furniture has been turned upside down. And the... I'm uh, officially freaked out now. also says the carpet was torn up and the shower was left on. Ghostly Encounter Unleashed In a chilling video streamed on Facebook, Ian Hawke, a 42-year-old father from Abbey Wood, southeast London, experiences a paranormal encounter. Hawke, who had been live streaming his attempt to communicate with the dead, was joined by paranormal investigator Danny Taylor. During the session, a cup and plate mysteriously fall off a sideboard, heightening the eerie atmosphere. As the tension escalates, a mug is forcefully hurled at Ian, leaving him visibly terrified. Anything, anything, come on please, anything. <coughs> now, I'm not being funny, as in the name. Seriously, that has just come, no, my phone's gone flat. It's because you're in Demon thing come up earlier. I'm going. You've asked for a chat, and it's not worrying. Calm down. Hello? Are you there? Hello? The incident unfolded in Hawk's home, capturing the attention of hundreds of online viewers. 
The live-streamed encounter showcased the unexplained and unsettling activity, including objects moving on their own. The paranormal investigator, Taylor, examined the home for signs of supernatural presence. The video adds to the growing collection of online content documenting paranormal experiences, raising questions and fascination about the mysterious realm beyond our understanding. People, I'm going. I'm going. Is this just come name Walter? Word Walter's just come up. But as in the name. Yeah, but I'm not antagonizing, I just asked. Yeah, but we had Manifest and we had the flipping Incubus and they're asking you to chat to him. Yeah, but look, it's come up with chat. I'm not going to sit here having things thrown at me. Hello? If you're there, please show yourself. <coughs> it's thrown it at me! Giant Mysterious Creature Daniel Griffey of Chase and Tails Outdoors Bait and Tackle caught a strange, dark animal in the water near North Carolina. Look at that. People thought it might be a big gator, a manatee, or a baby whale that got split from its mother. But it looks like a strange, giant, mysterious creature roaming the upper part of the sea. Possession and Chaos The encounter with the Ouija board took a terrifying turn as it resulted in one friend apparently becoming possessed by an otherworldly entity. In a chilling sequence of events, the possessed friend turned aggressive and attacked their companion, leading to a frightening episode that escalated when they fled the house in a disturbed state. The concerned friend pursued, discovering the possessed individual sitting alone, visibly distressed. Just got everything set up in there. We got the candles going, the Ouija board's in there, so we're getting ready to communicate with the dead, I guess. The uh, EMF meter. Coy. What's this doing? Coy, are you okay? The ghost's moving. Are there any spirits out here that would like Coy, are you okay? He's down, he's crying. down here. He just lunged at me in that barn. Attempting to leave and seek safety in the car proved futile as the malevolent force seemingly followed them triggering another terrifying attack. The possessed friend, still under the influence of the entity, launched a second assault on their companion within the confines of the vehicle. The harrowing account underscores the alarming and unsettling consequences of engaging with the Ouija board. The rapid escalation of events, from possession to multiple attacks, paints a distressing picture of the apparent influence of supernatural forces. The traumatic experiences within the house, and even in the car, highlight the pervasive and relentless nature of the perceived demonic presence, leaving both friends in a state of fear and distress. Are you okay? No, I'm not like a couple. There is a spirit here and that it did die here. So. Okay, uh, can you spell out your name for us on the board? Uh, ah, what the hell is going on? Hold on listen, on, listen. Mysterious underwater circles. Underwater crop circles were found off the coast of Japan in 1995. They are complex patterns made by male pufferfish, especially Torginkiner sp. These designs, which have lots of small ridges and grooves, attract pufferfish females to mate. The male pufferfish swims around in a circle with its fins, moving the sand around and shooting out small jets of water from its mouth. Different people's rings are different in terms of how complicated they are and how big they are. Some can be up to two meters across. When female pufferfish go to these rings, they check out the quality of the nest and choose a male as their mate if they find a good one. 
It's not completely clear why these complicated patterns appear, but it's thought that they show off how fit the male is and how well he can keep his young safe. Ghostly Hitchhiker Mystery Drivers and onlookers are confused by the strange video that was taken on the Ramanine Highway in Bangkok, Thailand. The video shows a woman with long, dark hair sitting quietly on the back of a fast-moving car. She doesn't seem to be bothered by the speed. The ghostly figure is wearing shorts and a striped top, which gives it a creepy look as it stays still even though the car is going 50 miles per hour. Powerit Katkul, a photojournalist who filmed the event, said he couldn't believe what he saw. Many people are shocked and confused by the strange sight, and many are asking whether or not the footage is real. People who were in the car with Cat Cool were also shocked, which made people ask, do you see what I see? People have talked about the chance of paranormal activity or a well-planned stunt because the event was so mysterious. Ghostly Figure Emerges In Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, many Pitocia, 46, captured intriguing footage on her motion-activated doorbell camera while waiting for a parcel. The video displays a translucent figure emerging from a bench on the left crossing in front of the camera and disappearing to the right. While some may approach such sightings with skepticism, the video has fueled curiosity and conversation about the paranormal in the community. The doorbell camera has inadvertently documented an unexpected and puzzling event, leaving viewers to ponder the nature of the mysterious figure captured on film. Alien or a Sea Creature In this footage, Thomas and his friend meet a huge, strange creature. They say the thing is breathing, but they don't know what it is, so it's still a puzzle. I mean, the rest just look like rocks. Well, I'm not going in in case it's like some just afraid of it. Why don't you go and put your hand in there and see if it bites? Uh oh. I don't know. It's a giant turtle. Do you think it's a giant turtle or do you think it's just a rock? It's a rock. But this strange creature doesn't look alone. He has others with him, which is actually quite scary. That's all for this video, folks demonic attack. The eerie consequences of meddling with Ouija boards unfolded as the planchette mysteriously moved without external influence, captured on film for all to witness. The unnerving footage serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable and potentially malevolent forces associated with such occult practices. In a more harrowing turn of events, a person involved in a Ouija board session found themselves confronted by a malevolent entity. What is your name? What's that? What's that? Susie Q. <laughs> um, is that a Q? <laughs> the supernatural escalation went beyond mere planchette movements as books on a shelf began to stir independently, hinting at a pervasive paranormal presence. The intensity of the encounter reached a terrifying peak when the individual was allegedly locked in a room and subjected to a demonic attack. The narrative underscores the inherent dangers and unsettling aftermath that can accompany interactions with Ouija boards. The convergence of unexplained movements, ghostly disturbances, and a direct confrontation with a malevolent force amplifies the sense of dread associated with dabbling in the supernatural realm. Don't. Who is Danny? <laughs> wow. Danny.
strange creatures. A tour group found strange animals that looked like monkeys with deformities near a cave in a small chain of islands. The animals came out of the cave to eat. They were on two legs and looked like people. A water spirit cursed the island in the past and told people not to come there. The people who lived there called them Che Na, which means water man. Scientists think they might be related to humans and could help treat diseases. Since the island is privately owned, no government agencies are allowed to go there. Nothing that looks like an Ewok has ever been found in Thailand or anywhere else. Reports of Ewok-like creatures near Thailand Cave are just that, rumors. They were brought there by tourists who come to visit Phra Nang Cave and beach in Krabby Town, Thailand. glowing eyes. The rake is a humanoid creature that is said to be about six feet tall and have a mouth that can open all the way to the neck. It's not easy to prove where this beast came from, though. It's thought that the first descriptions of this creature showed up on 4chan in late 2005, but it has been said that people may have seen the rake as early as the 12th century. The first recorded sighting is thought to have happened in 1691. This video was uploaded to YouTube by Pasquale in 2006 and was said to have been taken in a bush near the Spanish town of Camp de Vanol. In it, a group of people are exploring the area at night and come across a strange thing out in the woods. As they slowly get closer to the animal, it turns around and shows them its sharp white eyes. Haunted Pub Mysteries The Tyler's Kiln, a pub in Canterbury, Kent, has been causing a stir due to mysterious activities captured on its CCTV cameras. Owners claim that motion sensors have recorded objects moving, and staff have reported seeing shadows passing doors, glasses flying off shelves, and lights mysteriously turning on. The incidents occurred during the dead of night, sparking suspicions of paranormal activity in the pub. Owner Alistair Collins compiled a collection of eerie clips from the pub's CCTV footage over a two-month period from August 4, showcasing various strange occurrences. The footage has generated curiosity and speculation about the possibility of the pub being haunted. The incidents, ranging from moving objects to unexplained shadows, contribute to the growing lore surrounding the Tyler's Kiln. This paranormal twist adds an extra layer of intrigue to the historic pub, as patrons and staff alike share their experiences with the unexplained phenomena. Giant Strange Squid Dr. Eddie Witter Dr. Sonke Johnson and Dr. Nathan Robinson went on a study trip to the Gulf of Mexico to get unique pictures of animals in their natural environment. The NOAA's Office of Ocean Exploration and Research paid for the two-week trip. To find animals in the deep sea, Medusa camera technology was used five times with a special lure called the electronic jellyfish. The lure's light was made with the same technology that was used to film the first giant squid in Japan. 
Last week, myself working on side, Edie Witter caught the first ever footage of a giant squid in US waters. The second time this has been recorded well. We can start to piece some of that puzzle together. We've been reviewing around kind of 20 some hours of this footage. I'm pretty sure I don't even say anything. I just gotta wave my hand. She can see in the look in my face that I've seen something big. She runs over, we start reviewing. We haven't backed up this footage at this point. So we run back inside. One of the laptops in the boat had actually been fried. Robinson had filmed for over 120 hours before he looked over the film. During that time, he saw a giant squid over 750 meters deep. The finding of an animal that most people can see will help protect the environment. The captain actually comes down and warns us that we have a water spout forming out 50 meters off the side of the boat. Live in the wild twice. So we don't really know much about their behavior or their habitats or how they eat. All of a sudden, uh, like out of the blue, a giant squid comes out. My mind is immediately blown. And then we went on with the day, all a little bit stressed, but all having the time of our lives. Couple's disappearance. The pair in this strange CCTV video from a driving school in Pushong, Malaysia, is thought to be Ayu and Man. They go from one place to the next, like they're just hanging out. As they sit down and talk on the video, it looks like it was after a party. But things get bad when the pair starts to fight. Things get more tense when Man leaves Ayu for a short time. The next part is a scene that makes you think. Someone or something is calling to a man as he goes through a door. He tells Ayu to wait. The video then zooms in on a chair, which makes me think there might be an interest. As the story goes on, it becomes clear that these events are what Ayu said made her crazy. There's still no idea where man is, which makes things more tense and uncertain. It scares us even more that strange things are going on inside the building, which makes me wonder about a lot of things. The details and results of this strange event are still unknown, leaving people to guess and be interested. Zozo Haunting the encounter with the Ouija board took a chilling turn as the participants inadvertently summoned the entity known as Zozo. Initially asking innocuous questions, the eerie revelation of Zozo's presence triggered an unsettling sequence of events. The girl involved in the session began to exhibit alarming behavior, characterized by sudden laughter, screams, and visible signs of distress, such as shivering. The narrative emphasizes crucial rules associated with using the Ouija board to ward off malevolent entities. Mentioned rules stress the importance of never abandoning the planchette alone within the triangle, and the necessity of promptly concluding the session if specific unsettling patterns emerged, like the planchette moving in a figure eight or spelling out Zozo. Is there anyone here? Z. Oh, oh my God. Oh, is your name Zoe? <laughs> oh, that's so freaky. No, uh, okay, uh, is, is your name Zozo? Spaces. You write down. All right. You record. Monica, you got this. You got this, girl. These protocols aim to prevent the escalation of supernatural activity and potentially protect the participants from further negative experiences. The account captures the sinister atmosphere of summoning a purportedly dangerous entity through the Ouija board, leading to a disturbing sequence of events that culminated in the manifestation of Zozo. The inclusion of cautionary guidelines underscores the risks associated with dabbling in the occult and highlights the importance of respecting established protocols to ensure safety during paranormal interactions. Zozo. Zozo the clown. <laughs> Are you touching? Are you? No. That's crazy. I'm what? barely. I, yeah, I'm barely, I barely have my hands on here at all. Oh my god, Monica. Monica, calm down. Alien creature. 
People on the internet are shocked after seeing a video of a strange monster that changes shape underwater. The video became popular in 2013 and it's now back on the internet. The strange thing that looks like a creature is floating in the water. Its features are different from those of any other known species. The object slowly changes into a black ball-like shape as the movie goes on. It starts out round, but after a while it opens up and gets longer. Through the object, lights of different colors can be seen moving. It can be seen slowly spreading out its structures that look like fins. Haunted School Mystique The Deer Park CBS, now Colaste Eamon Rees in Cork City, gained notoriety for its purported haunting, captured on CCTV footage. The video, recorded at the oldest school on the south side of Cork City, allegedly shows a ghostly apparition. The school, with a rich history dating back years, has been a subject of local legends and paranormal tales. The CCTV footage, circulated widely, intensified the belief that the institution is haunted. The mysterious footage raises questions about the supernatural and paranormal activities within the school premises. Spectral sightings and unexplained occurrences have fueled the reputation of Deer Park CBS as one of the most haunted places in the region. However, skepticism abounds, as such occurrences often prompt scrutiny and debate about the authenticity of ghostly encounters. playing on the stairs. The video, which Joey Nolan posted to YouTube, shows the family's living room and cooking area. The family cat is the only thing in the picture. On the right side of the screen, you can see what looks like a ghost walking out of the kitchen. The strange visitor looks like a person when you look at it more closely. It can be seen for a short time before it goes away. Joey writes, at 12.54 a.m. on August 8, 2019, our security camera caught a strange person walking through the kitchen. Some say it's a boy and their pet. Tell us what you think, we're not sure. In the comments, people have different thoughts about the video. Many people think the cat would have done something if it were real because animals are thought to be able to see spirits. Biltmore Hotel Terror In an intense and spine-chilling night, Sam and Colby embark on a harrowing paranormal investigation at the haunted Biltmore Hotel, delving into the mysteries surrounding Corey Scherer's shadow man spirit. The atmosphere is charged with tension as the group utilizes various methods, including communicating through mediums and employing a Ouija board to uncover the truth behind the supernatural occurrences. I've never heard of like a sound, a communication sound like that before. All of a sudden, now that we finally went back to the same origin, we were able to contact the Shadow Man. Okay. Well, I said I would try to talk to you one more time, so let's go. Last time. I the night unfolds with the group encountering a series of inexplicable and terrifying events, heightening the sense of fear and anticipation. Ringing bells resonate through the haunted space, adding an eerie layer to the already charged environment. The paranormal activity escalates as their television spontaneously plays on its own and connects itself, emitting strange and unsettling sounds. The group, undeterred in their pursuit of answers, decides to directly engage with the shadow man spirit. Requesting the entity to make some noise, 
they are met with a response that sends shivers down their spines. The manifestation of audible disturbances adds a visceral and terrifying dimension to the paranormal investigation, instilling fear in the participants. Oh my God. What the hell? Turned on by Corey. itself. It, wait, 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 is that on some? Is it the shadow man that is trying to communicate with me? How would the Ouija board try to spell God? That wasn't God. That, that's it. But all that stuff happened once you said, like, is this the shadow man? Strange dead sea creature. At Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge, close to Darien, Jeff Warren and his son found a dead body washed up on the beach. They first thought it was a dead seal, but when they looked more closely, they saw that it looked more like a baby sea monster or something from the Jurassic period. Marine biologists in the area think it's a shark, but a different kind. Experts in wildlife that Warren talked to said it was a basking shark, but his son likes mysteries. Werewolf Sighting In European tradition from the Middle Ages, the idea that people could change into wolves first appeared. In Europe in the 16 and 1700s, people who were thought to be werewolves were put to death. The most well-known case was that of German farmer Peter Stump, who was thought to be a werewolf after a wolf was seen in an area where he had been missing. It was pain for Stump to say that he had been using black magic since he was 12 years old. Even though some people believe in werewolves, more people in the UK have seen the Wessex Way monster since it came out in 2007. Ouija Horror Tale In a chilling account of a Ouija board session turned malevolent, a group experienced a horrifying encounter with an alleged evil spirit. The narrative unfolds with the group posing questions to the spirit, seeking insight into its nature and intentions. The eerie revelation that the spirit had been murdered and harbored vengeful intentions added an unsettling layer to the session. Really? Really? I swear I just got cold. Yeah. <gasps> it responded to you! Wait. When you said ground. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh, nah, nah, you moved no, that. You no. moved that. Dude, I oh, swear man. I didn't move. No, I'm just gonna move that. <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop. You're gonna go to the next me. No, seriously, no. It's all. The spirits claim to have met its demise at the hands of a girl, coupled with its expressed desire for revenge, heightened the ominous atmosphere. The narrative took a darker turn when the spirit identified the location of its murder an older house in the vicinity. As the participants continued their interaction, the room's atmosphere became charged with paranormal energy. Suddenly, in a series of unexplained events, objects in the room, including hanging lights, started to move seemingly of their own accord. This supernatural manifestation intensified the sense of foreboding and heightened the participants' anxiety. The climax of the ordeal occurred when their friend Erica experienced a distressing possession, exhibiting unusual and unsettling behavior. The use of a Ouija board serves as a focal point for the encounter, emphasizing the cautionary nature of such paranormal explorations. My fault, yo, I was the one that told her, to, I was the one that got her to play the Ouija board. What do you mean, bro? She's not possessed. Yo, she is. What is she doing? What else would she be doing? Erica! Okay, um, um... What's your name? Please. Hey, you, you okay? Why, why are we in the bathroom? Distillery Ghost Mystery On Friday, October 23, around 4.20 p.m., a mysterious incident unfolded in the Extract Lab distillation room, leaving employees puzzled and sparking debate over its nature. Caught on tape, an employee working with a rotary evaporator witnessed a jar of full-spectrum distillate seemingly fall off a table in the room's center. The event was initially perceived as paranormal by some staff, while others attributed it to human error. The employee promptly left the distillation room to inform Extract Lab CEO Dr. John Thompson about the incident, insisting it must be the work of a ghost. Dr. John dismissed the claim, expressing skepticism. Subsequently, another employee appeared on the video to clean the spilled distillate. Strangely, a second jar of distillate appeared to move autonomously towards the table's end, resembling the first incident. The vigilant employee,
carefully restored the jar without any further loss of product. As a formal investigation commenced, the initial employee involved insisted he was nowhere near the jar during its fall, asserting the impossibility of him knocking it off the table. Dr. John maintained a different perspective. The peculiar occurrence, caught on tape and debated among employees, remains unresolved, and the investigation is ongoing, whether it was a paranormal encounter or a result of mundane factors. Strange Sea Creature Attack The Magna Pinus Squid, which is also called the Big Fin Squid, is a rare and interesting animal that lives in the deep sea. These creatures have changed in special ways to live in the cold, high-pressure and dark environment. They have a unique look and long, thin tentacles. They have been seen in belemnites, which are extinct animals, and are thought to use their arms and limbs to eat. They are hard to find, but they have been seen from a distance in remote-controlled cars. The first sighting was in Keithley Canyon in the northern Gulf of Mexico, but not a single example has been caught, which makes describing the species hard. Ghostly Mischief Unveiled Clem Dalloway, 40, decided to investigate paranormal Astershire. Setting up a camera in a function room, he aimed to capture any unusual occurrences. The footage he obtained appears to reveal a mischievous entity causing disturbances in the room after everyone has left. This includes broken seriously disappearing. The video has gained widespread attention after going viral. eerie happenings at the community center had prompted Dalloway to take matters into his own hands to document the inexplicable events. The viral footage leaves viewers questioning the nature of the disturbances, and the peculiar incidents seem to defy logical explanations. The story has sparked curiosity and speculation among the community, with some attributing the activities to a possible instance. The viral nature of the video has drawn attention to the mystery making the Abbeydale Community Center a subject of fascination and discussion as people grapple with the unexplained phenomena caught on camera. Creepy Monkey Doll Cassie O'Malley, who lives in Lamont, Illinois, got a monkey toy as a gift that was involved in a scary event. Cassie was so excited about her new toy that she decided to record the event on camera for her friends to see. Are you real? I don't know. You just seem a little sus. She was shocked to see that the monkey doll was looking right at her when she opened the box it was in. Cassie looked into the strange event and tried to show that it wasn't true because it was so scary. Cassie looked for a sensible explanation, but she couldn't think of anything that would fit the monkey doll's strange look. The creepy monkey doll, which seemed to have its own personality, became an interesting and mysterious thing in Cassie's house. Ouija board encounter. In a paranormal endeavor gone awry, individuals attempted to communicate with a spirit through a Ouija board, delving into a realm of uncertainty and fear. The spirit, purportedly a 72-year-old murder victim, responded to questions posed through the Ouija board. The unsettling turn of events escalated when the notorious entity known as Zozo allegedly took control of the Ouija board during the communication session. Are there any spirits here that want to contact us? Only good spirits, no bad spirits. Please. Better. How old are you? Grim? Grim? Mm -hmm. 
Seven. Two. 72? The invocation of Zozo in paranormal contexts is often associated with malevolent forces and negative experiences. Sensing the potential dangers, the participants decided to terminate the Ouija board session, recognizing the need to disengage from the supernatural interaction. Such narratives contribute to the mystique and cautionary tales surrounding Ouija board usage, with stories of unexpected and malevolent entities seizing control, emphasizing the inherent risks associated with attempting to communicate with spirits through this particular paranormal tool. That's all for this video, folks. Scooter's Ghostly Spin In a mysterious incident in Henan Province, China, a riderless electric scooter was captured on video moving in circles on a road after its owner had left it unattended at the roadside without turning it off. The eerie footage has left Chinese web users perplexed and intrigued. The scooter seems to navigate itself, raising questions about the unusual occurrence. The male cyclist, upon returning, was informed by onlookers that his scooter had been moving autonomously. The incident has sparked speculation and debate online, with some suggesting supernatural or paranormal forces at play, while others explore potential technical malfunctions or hidden strings manipulating the scooter. The video adds an enigmatic twist to the everyday scene, leaving viewers curious about the possible explanations behind the scooter's seemingly independent movement. Whether it's a bizarre prank, a technical glitch, or something more supernatural, the incident has captivated online audiences, underscoring the fascination people have with unexplained phenomena. That's all for this video, folks. Shapeshifter in Sea Scientists caught a strange jellyfish that can change its shape 2,590 feet below the top of the Pacific Ocean. The Ocean Exploration Trust watched the deep staria jellyfish, which can grow and change its shape. The creature can also be found inside an isopod, which is a segmented crab. The group is looking into the 490,343 square mile Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument to make a record of the animals and plants that live there. There are also shapeshifters in these depths. Office Ghost Cody Aaron is a supernatural investigator who thinks that all supernatural events are caused by demons. He has helped families who are having problems with evil spirits for years. Here this time, I, I've not seen anything. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own. I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed. And that's the chair that moves on its own. Uh, and uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's absolutely nothing on its own. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow maybe, and we'll see what we Here is the motion detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. Cody offers to help when a family member tells him about a scary thing going on in their office building. At night, he records an unsettling empty room. When he goes inside, he finds a door and a chair that move on their own. Cody walks into the room and sees a figure in a closed door behind him. There's no motion to take. Look, look, it's moving. And usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. And there's no motion detection right there. That is nuts. Look at that. It's 946. <sighs> there was way more people than what's usually here today, so I... kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Okay, so, uh... He doesn't notice the little girl standing behind him. The video makes Cody decide to come back for another night, but things don't go well. A loud voice yells, and Cody is startled when the sound goes away. The case makes people wonder if the office block really is haunted by demons, or if it's all a big lie. That's all for this video, folks. Manchester's Haunted Office The CCTV footage capturing eerie occurrences at Castlefield House in Manchester reveals a series of paranormal activities, from chairs moving autonomously to computers flickering on, 
shadows traversing walls, filing cabinets opening, and stacks of paper swirling through the air. The building has earned the reputation of being Manchester's most haunted office block. Originally uploaded in 2012, the video continues to circulate online, sparking curiosity and speculation among social media users. An expert has stepped forward, claiming to have unraveled the mystery behind these ghostly activities. The revelation adds a new layer to the story, leaving residents and online observers intrigued. The ongoing fascination with the paranormal events at Castlefield House highlights humanity's enduring curiosity about the supernatural and the unexplained. The blend of modern technology capturing these spectral events and the attempts to decipher their origin showcases how age-old mysteries persist in the contemporary world, captivating imaginations and prompting investigations into the unknown. See you next time.